Well, a new book is helping those who may have been laid off during the pandemic find a job that's right for them and achieve happiness. And joining us now is best-selling author and broadcast talent agent Ken Lindner. Ken, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Lauren. Pleasure to be with you. Well, most of us in this industry know you as a talent agent. We've either met you, worked with you, or someone in your office. I mean, you're just a huge name in the industry. And now comes this book, Career Choreography, uh, already a bestseller, and it's a step-to-step -step guide on finding the right job, achieving huge success and happiness. Isn't that what we all want? Why this book and why now? Well, Lauren, over the past 35 years, I have equipped thousands upon thousands of individuals to identify the right job for them, secure it, and thrive in it. And when the pandemic hit, I really felt like I could be of service and use my knowledge to help people get into or back into the workforce in jobs that take great advantage of their skill sets, their passions, their experience, and hopefully they can also make their hearts sing as well. I mean, you really want to find that sense of purpose and passion when you when you have a job. I mean, I think that's what you hope for. What do you think someone should look for when they are hoping to find a job, but it also meets that that passion and happiness inside them? Well, it's a great question. Basically, what you want to do is explore deep down what is it that you want from your next job. And if you've already worked before, you have a sense of what works for you. What are you good at? What do you love to do? And what don't you want in your next job? And in career choreography, I talk about making a clarifying list, a list that clarifies what it is you really want, the criteria for your next job. So when you look at prospective jobs, you can see if the criteria match up. Then uh, the next thing I would do is network. Think about all of the people with whom you've worked with before, because they know the body of your work. They know how talented you are. They know the content of your character. Those are the people I would contact to see if one of them can hire you or they can recommend you to someone who can hire you. So there are a lot of things that you can do. And most importantly, be optimistic. If you've already worked before, you have experience, you have a body of knowledge, contacts, know-how. That's, that's a huge asset for an employer who's looking to make the best deal for him or her with the employee that they hire. And, and in this pandemic, so many people are changing careers. They're really going to a whole new field, either because they've had to or because they feel like, hey, life's short, I wanna do something new. How do you overcome the fear of changing careers or going outside of the box that you're used to, your comfort zone? Well, I think there are a few things, Lauren, that you could do. First of all, you've gotta decide what it is that's making you unhappy, is it? The, the environment itself, are the people not supportive? Is it a toxic environment? Uh, are you getting too much work because people have been laid off, so it's all been put on your shoulders? Or is it the job itself? Because if it's the environment or ancillary factors, then find the same work in another company. But if it's the job itself, you need to make a beneficial change. I would say, that the way you um, sort of dissipate the fear, the fear paralysis of making a change is make a list. Think about what makes your heart sing. Think about what would really excite you in your next job. Because if, you're, if you actively make a list, I think all of that fear dissipates because you have something great to look forward to that's logical. Mm -hmm. So once again, dig down deep and think about what it is you really want. Make that clarifying list and then figure out the right jobs for you that mesh with that list. Yeah. And of course, the flip side of that is, is the monetary compensation, right? You, you talk quite a bit about some deals uh, being made. Obviously, in, in this business, it's a lot of negotiating. How much of a key factor is, it, is money in, in finding a new job and, and selecting a new career path? Or should you really be focusing more on the, the passion? Well, you know, if you love what you do, and I will tell you, there are four criterion uh, or criteria that I would use. A, 
take a job that you believe in. Take a job that you love. Take a job that makes you excited to go to work every day and take a job that takes great advantage of your skill set and that you're good at. Because the first three will hopefully guarantee that you'll be really happy in your job and fulfilled. The fourth may well guarantee that you'll be hugely successful. And the key really is when it comes to money, if you're really great at what you do, you add great value to your employer and that company. And the more valuable you are, the more money you can command. So I've always believed if you do the right job each and every day, the money will come. You know, so you have to weigh uh, what your economic necessities are. But if you can do something that you love and you have a great work-life balance and you look forward to going to work every day, I think you're a huge winner. I think so, too. Ken Lindner, thank you so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Here it is, career choreography, your step-to-step -step guide. Some great tips in here. Ken, as always, thank you so much fun, and thanks for writing this. A big help to people. Oh, my pleasure, Lauren. It's really a privilege to be on KUSI. Thank you so much. Take care.